You're sure he's here? For sure. your heart dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Well, Marlene, set a place for Barrett. <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Huh. Good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Come to think of it, I don't see a gift, neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here. You son of a bitch. Still living on Shinra's kill. No, man. It ain't no. like that. <laughs> Here for you. D 
to take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit.
He's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... I thought it changed our lives. Well, it changed them all right. You know, I can hear her now. Eleanor, as clear as day, begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt, saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, she's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Dad, we could go see Marley right now. <sighs> Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop! With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again?
carry that guilt, that weight. Nine. Nine. Uh... <laughs>